in question number 39 we are given this curve and the question says that the normal to the curve at the point where the curve crosses the y axis passes through which of the following points so that means we need to find the normal to this curve at x equal to 0 so first of all let us write the curve explicitly as y equal to x plus c 6 divided by x square minus 5x plus 6 and we need to write the normal to this curve at x equal to 0. So, first let us find at x equal to 0 the value of y. So, if we put x equal to 0 here, we get y equal to 1 as you can see. So, the point we have got now to get the slope of the normal, first we will differentiate this particular graph with respect to x to get the slope. So, y dash is equal to x square minus 5x plus 6 minus x plus 6 into 2x minus 5 divided by x square minus 5x plus 6 whole square. Now, if we put x equal to 0 into this derivative, we are going to get the slope of the tangent at x equal to 0. So, slope of the tangent at x equal to 0 is equal to, we can see here we will be left with 6 and here we will be left with minus 30 plus 30 rather. So, 36 and here also we are having 36. So, it is going to give us 1. So, slope of the normal at x equal to 0 is obviously minus 1. So, we have got the point and we have got the slope of the normal. So, we can easily write the equation of the normal and the equation is y minus 1 equals to minus of x minus 0. So, that makes it x plus y is equal to 1 this is the required normal and out of the given options we have to just put and check which of the following is lying on this. So, half comma half obviously lies on this and therefore, the correct answer is going to be answer number 3. In question number 40, it says a hyperbola passes through the point p root 2 comma root 3. So, we are given a point root 2 comma root 3 and it has got a foci plus minus 2 comma 0. So, the foci are given to us as 2 comma 0 and minus 2 comma 0. The tangent to the hyperbola at p also passes through. So, this is a point in the first quadrant. Here, we have to basically write the tangent to the hyperbola and check which of the following of the given options are lying on this particular tangent. That is the whole problem. So, in order to do that first we intend to find the equation of the hyperbola. Now, the distance between the two foci is given to be 4 that is 2 a e basically. So, we can say that a e is equal to 2 squaring we get a square e square is equal to 4, but we all know that in hyperbola a square e square can be written as a square plus b square which is 4. Now, hyperbola is obviously standard. So, the equation of the hyperbola is going to be x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1 and this particular point is bound to lie on this it is given to us basically. So, we will put this to get another relation in a square and b square and that is 2 upon a square minus 3 upon b square equals to 1. Now, we need to solve these two equations to get the value of a square and b square. So, we will just simplify this. 2b square minus 3a square equals to a square b square. We can take off b square from this equation by putting 4 minus a square here. So, 2 times 4 minus a square minus 3a square equals to a square into 4 minus a square. So, this is the equation. If you just simplify this, we get a power 4 minus 2a square minus 3a square makes it minus 5a square and 4a square comes here. So, that is minus 9a square plus 8 equals to 0. Now, from here we are getting two values a square equal to 8 or a square equals to 1. But if we look at this equation a square equal to 8 is going to give us negative b square which is definitely not possible. So, this is rejected. And if we take up a square equal to 1, from there we get b square is equal to 3. And this gives us our hyperbola. 
So the equation of the hyperbola is x square by 1 minus y square by 3 equals to 1. This is the point lying on that hyperbola and we need to write the tangent. So by the simple rule x x1 y y1 we can directly write the tangent and that is root 2 x minus y into root 3 by 3 that makes it y by root 3 equal to 1 and we just need to out of the given coordinates we just have to put the coordinate and see that which of the following is going to satisfy this. So uh, 2 root 2 comma 3 root 3 is satisfying this which is option number 3 and therefore the answer to this question is option number 3.